Dscope supports three different approaches for integrating the Dscope authentication platform into your application. In this video, we are going to cover approach three, which is integrating your application server to the Dscope service. This approach is best suited when you want to manage all of the user interface and your application server communication on your own. Here are all the backend SDK guides available. Each guide covers a different authentication method. Here we are going to build an application which will use one-time password sent over email to the user. So let's go to the one-time password guide. Before we go follow this guide step by step, let's quickly look at the sample application that we have created. This is a very simple sample application which takes the user's email address sends an OTP to the email address and verifies the OTP. This sample application's backend is written in Node.js, supports two different endpoints, start auth and verify OTP. The front end of the application is a simple HTML and JavaScript, which takes the email address and the OTP and posts to the backend service. So let's go into the documentation and start following step by step. The first step is to actually install the Node.js SDK. Let's do that. Let's stop the server, install the SDK. SDK is now installed. Let's go ahead and import and instantiate the Dscope SDK. So for this video, we will ignore the try catch. Some error handling make it simple and quick for us. Note that when you instantiate the Dscope SDK, project ID is one of the parameters. It is auto populated in our docs. If you choose your project, and I'm logged in to the console. Otherwise, you can copy it from the Dscope console. Let's go back to the documentation and add sign up or sign in methods and the relevant code. The next step is to choose what are we trying to do. So there are a few use cases. User sign up and verification. This is for the first time sign ups. User sign in or verification when the user logs in. In this demo, we will use sign up or sign in, which signs up the user if they do not exist in the system and signs them in if they already exist in the system. Let's take the sample code. Come back here. So this is in the start auth method. We already have some dummy code. As you can see, we already extract the email from the body and the delivery method. Removing some of these comments. So login ID is already extracted. Removing the comments for the response. This is how we call the sign up or in method with delivery method, which is email and the login ID, which is the email of the user. And we go ahead and print all the responses, whether there is errors or successfully initialized. The console log will be seen right here. The last step is to add the verification piece. Let's get that. For the verification, we need similar parameters. In addition for the verification, we also need the OTP. So as you can see, we extracted the email from the request OTP delivery method is set. Let's remove these comments. And we call the verify with login ID and code and the success. Let's save this. 
And that's all you need to do in your backend to get the OTP method going. The last thing we should do is if the OTP is verified successfully, respond to the application client with an OK. And in our client, if it receives an OK response, it's going to print user is successfully logged in. OK, let's run our application and test it. OK, let's log in with the email address. Hit submit. The OTP is sent to the email address. I will get it now. 999383. Submit. And as you see, the user is logged in. Let's look at the logs in our application to see what is returned after a successful login. So as you can see, after the successful login, we get user details, which we logged all of the successful response right here. Login ID, user ID, which is the internal user identification, email address, is the email ad verified, true, phone verified, bunch of details. In addition, we get the cookies, which contains the session and refresh token. We will not cover session verification in this particular video. That is covered in a separate video. And that completes our integration of Node.js backend SDK with a simple OTP over email application. Thank you.